What do you think? I think we're dead meat. Real dead meat. You're dead meat! Go ahead and laugh, you guys. If I ever find a little bastard of business, it's dead meat. Welcome to the Dead Meat Podcast, the extension of the YouTube channel Dead Meat. I'm James. I'm Chelsea, and we're engaged, and we like to get scared together. And if we sound different, it's because we're using lav mics instead of our usual fancy procasters. Why are we doing that, Chelsea? Uh, Because we are recording a podcast episode straight from the Stanley Hotel in Colorado. Yeah, this Estes is not Park. our home. <laughs> oh, yeah, we didn't move here. No, we did not. That kind would be pretty cool, though. Almost feels like it. I feel like we have been here forever. Yeah. We've always been here. <laughs> yes, we've been here for a Dr. Sleep experience. Thank you, Warner Brothers, yeah. for that. It's been awesome, but we are, we are also recording this. It is Tuesday right now. Technically, It yeah. is technically Tuesday. So if you're watching this slash listening to this on Tuesday, know that like we recorded this. Like when this comes out, yeah. we recorded this like five hours before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I have not had time it's to make been a, a month. podcast. It's been a month. But so this is our, uh, we're in like, we're in the lobby area. We got a fireplace. It's very cozy. It's very cozy. You're drinking it old fashioned. From the whiskey bar. But yeah, so if we sound different, that's why. Yep, sorry. Yeah, so I, I thought this is like the perfect setting to do a little Halloween episode. Because <laughs> we said uh, after my, our last two, which were super recent, search heavy and just intensive we would do a really chill one where we just talk about halloween yeah that's fun and i i got it someone said on twitter and i said i would shout your name out and i totally forgot to look it up but you said this would be like a great time to do an episode like that yeah really was a great idea it just like it saved my butt yeah yeah so hopefully your understanding of the possible dip in audio quality and the lack of research, because yeah. <laughs> we just need a break, man. <laughs> we're so tired. And also, how how uh, high up are we? We're, oh, dude, we're so high. We're so high. Oh, uh, yeah, well, I don't know. I mean, high enough to where everyone feels weird up here. <laughs> we're all getting altitude sickness. Um, they, have, they had an oxygen bar for us all weekend, just in case. That helped a lot. But anyway, we're going to do our little Halloween memories episode where we talk about Halloween's past and you even called family to see if they... I did, because you know what? Sometimes I feel like at a certain age uh, that I reached, maybe around 13 or 14, I decided, oh, uh, I have this self-awareness now and I'm just going to erase all my memories from previous to this point. So I have a really hard time remembering younger childhood. That's so sad. It's super sad. That it's also sad that I called my parents and they had a hard time remembering it too. So uh, I'm gonna work from some broken notes and some pictures that my sister Janelle had. Thank uh-huh. you, Janelle. Oh man, they are very funny. You'll have to post them on like Twitter or something. Oh, what the pictures? Yeah, I'm yeah. not editing them into this. Sure. <laughs> this has to go up <laughs> as soon as we hit stop. That's right. <laughs> yes. And uh, but you, I imagine, have more intact. Childhood memories? I guess. I have a few notes. Nothing that fascinating, though. Like, I feel like all my costumes are pretty run in the mill. Uh, but I do have some standouts. And my mom texted me a, kind of a funny story, too. Oh. Yeah, she said when she was little, I'm not sure how old she was. I was going to check the text she sent me before we started recording, but I dropped my phone in the toilet and now it doesn't work. Oh, you're going public with that info. <laughs> yeah. I thought that was gonna be our little secret. <laughs> I, just, I don't know, man. It just, I, okay, you know what? What? Jeans, women's jeans, sometimes you buy them and you don't realize that they don't have front pockets. That sucks, man. So you put your phone in, in the butt pocket and you forget it's there and it falls into the toilet. The clean toilet. Yeah, it was not a pee toilet. Okay. But anyway, so I think she was like, I don't know, she was young, like a little kid. So her and her friend David, who was around the same age, his mom dressed him as Jackie Kennedy, like complete with like a little pink outfit and the pillbox hat and stuff Mm -hmm. and she said that every house that they went to all the adults like were in love with him and would invite him in so they could take pictures and stuff my mom was 
pissed. What was she dressed as? I don't I don't even know if she said, but she was just pissed. At like, like, come on, Jackie, you're slowing me down. I want to get candy. All the adults are just fawning over how cute he is. That's fair. Dressed in his little outfit. How late did you trick or treat? Way like, too late. Like, how was way too late? High school. High school? Maybe like freshman year of high school. So we're talking like 14? Yeah, but I feel like at that point it was less like... What was it, ironic? A little, or yeah. <laughs> or just like, why not? It's free candy. Who cares? Yeah. Kind of, you know. I feel like I made it into middle school. I definitely was into the horror movie uh, realm of my life because I remember my buddy Jesus was Michael Myers. Mm -hmm. uh, that was probably like, I, you know, I was probably 13, so it was probably around there. I remember so vividly that those years when we were in like elementary school where everyone dressed as Ghostface. Oh, yeah. Everyone was Ghostface, yeah. For sure. That was a popular one. Yeah. It's still, I wonder, like, if do you still see that at school if you're a kid? Like Ghostface? Yeah, it's an easy costume. Yeah, let us know if you see Ghostface. Yeah. I had another. <laughs> this is one I just randomly kind of remembered. Um, so did you do, like, Halloween parades at school where everyone, like, parades around in their costumes and stuff? I don't think so, no. So we would do that at school, and I remember one year I was dressed as Belle from Beauty and the Beast. And uh, we, they were lining us up. I think I was in like first grade or something. Mm -hmm. And um, they're lining us up and we walk by a bunch of like the sixth graders who are all at that point gigantic. And I see a sixth grader, I think dressed as like a werewolf or something. And I, my dumbass like first grade self is like, oh, like a beast. Like it's like Beauty and the Beast. Oh. Like, oh my God. And I just remember him being like, like hey, you get away, little kid. Aww. <laughs> Like, get out of here, nerd. Aww. But it's so weird. I have, like, such a weird, vivid memory. Like, a very tall sixth grader, like an older kid being like, Bleh. I have pictorial evidence that I was, in fact, a werewolf. Uh-huh. Uh, plastic mask. I have that written down as like plastic costumes. Oh yeah, I had lots of plastic I had a masks. Lot of plastic apparently, costumes. Uh, with the werewolf one, I had ripped up jeans mm -hmm. and maybe a ripped up shirt. And there are multiple pictures of me like posing, like howling, uh, in my kitchen on my porch. <laughs> I believe my sister was Cleopatra. I was. I have a Cleopatra costume. Right you know, now. back then. I was, you know. It's funny that was. If one, a kid wants to be Cleopatra. Is that okay? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, that's My, okay. Apparently. Yeah, just don't be weird about it, I guess. Yeah, yeah don't but break like, out the shoe polish. Yeah, for real, Justin Trudeau. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Did yeah. he just win re-election? I think like tonight. I don't know, I saw a tweet. Yeah. Like, no, Mr. Trudeau, you can't have a costume party to celebrate. Um, oh, yeah, wasn't there a tweet about Trudeau uh, <laughs> strategically car, his... holding the election before Halloween just to not get tempted? <laughs> oh, no, no, I saw one that was like, his car breaks down on his way to the inauguration. He goes to look into the tailpipe to see what's wrong. Mr. Like Trudeau, no. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, man. Oh. Um... <laughs> I also, I'm going to move on after this, but I saw someone make like a D&D &D alignment of <laughs> offensive costumes. Uh, oh, um, man. But yeah, what was I even talking about? Oh, so yeah, my mom texted me and she was like, uh, you remember when you were a kid, you wanted to be Cleopatra and you're my best friend who like, I feel like was kind of a friend of me because I think, and we're cool now. She's super nice. I, we keep in touch, but we're just at that age where she was too cool for me and realizing it, you know, was mm -hmm. trying to hang out with the cool kids and I'm still wanting to hang out with her. And uh, we both wanted to be Cleopatra that year. And it was just this, it, it, it was just such a thing. I think Were you both Cleopatra? We were, yeah. And my mom was very proud that mine was better because she made mine. Oh, okay. Cool. Even though she texted me, she's like, I used such shitty fabric, but it looked really good. <laughs> yeah. My mom did, bless her heart, Cynthia, my mom did express remorse that uh, she's not a person who, who makes things, uh, sews things. So she did express remorse in this phone call that we had just plastic masks. I mean... Uh, I look back. I mean, you can you can tell when exactly in my life my mom learned how to sew stuff <laughs> oh, because yeah. before then, and I'm not even talking just the plastic masks. I I don't know if this is the case anymore, but in, entire costumes were just 
plastic. Like I have pictures of me, I don't really remember because I was so young, but I was Catwoman and it was a plastic mask, but also just this plastic like. Oh. Yeah, with like where it has a little tie in the back. Ew, Do you know like what I'm a plastic, talking? Like chest piece? Not a chest piece. It was just like a like arms like like a plasticky jumpsuit that had the, the cost like the pattern of the costume just kind of printed on it. That sounds awful. Yeah, they're not key, you know. Did you suit. use buckets or pillowcases? Pillowcases for sure. Always? I mean, did you start with buckets? I definitely started with like the pumpkin, the witch, and the ghost everyone buckets. Everyone had those from probably, I think McDonald's. To sure, I think, I think every once in a while they still do those. Yeah. That and the little, um, the Halloween series of the Chicken McNuggets plastic toys. Yeah. Dressed in costumes. Oh, those were fun. I would honestly love to get my hands on a set of those Sure, uh, whoever wants to mail a set of those <laughs> to the P.O. Box. I was going to buy some, but sure, mail me chicken. Chicken, mail us chicken nugget toys. Um, yeah, no, I remember what you're talking about. Yeah. Like, oh, yeah. But then I, I think as I got older, I just graduated pillowcases. Yeah. Which is kind of an insane thing. Oh, no <laughs> which is kind of an insane thing that like. Well, you would fill a pillowcase with candy. Entire pillowcase. So, and like we would do a thing where you fill it, we dump it out in the trunk of my parents' car and go back for more. You we just had just, a trunk full of candy? You're disgusting. And Damn. then you just sit there on the floor and eat it all. It's it's crazy. I mean, if you get Were you not uh, regulated in your candy consumption? No. Yeah, neither were we. There were I don't know if no people limits nowadays on. have like parents who like meter out the candy. That's probably what you should do. It's probably the better option. Because then you end up an adult like me who loves sugar and gets intense sugar cravings because sugar is a drug, everyone. <laughs> and trying to quit sugar is like going through withdrawal. It sucks. Here's a fun fact that should come as no surprise to anyone who knows me well. Uh, this is one thing I do distinctly remember from Halloween is that I would come home with my pillowcase full of candy, dump it out, and then categorize all the candy I got what and the, make, oh, I would no. mark like tally marks for each, uh, the number of each candy really? that I got. I, I needed the data. It would be interesting to see how those changed over the years. Right, I wish I had that that data. That actually I'll would be switch interesting data around. that I don't know if like anyone else would have bothered. Probably not. You know. Yeah. Sociologists also, would love to get their hands on that. My mother told me, uh, that she would purchase Reese's uh, peanut butter cups from my sister and I. Really? She would, yeah, just uh, buy. My mom is. She would actually give you like cash. She's not just like it's the it's the mommy tax and just take your candy. Oh, see, that's what she probably should have done. I don't know. I I forget if I've ever mentioned this on the podcast before. Uh, for the tooth fairy gave us five bucks a tooth. That's so. That's so much. much. I got a dollar. Yeah, right. A tooth. I and feel then, like that's pretty. And then again, I forget if I've ever mentioned this before, but the day that I found out the tooth fairy wasn't real. Spoiler alert to anyone listening is uh when i had orthopedic surgery in preparation <laughs> for braces and had nine teeth pulled and then i did the math and was like i'll get 45 bucks from the tooth fairy and my mom sat me down that night and was like <laughs> <laughs> said tooth fairy is not real i can't afford that money yeah i just remember always being pissed that uh i couldn't get six dollars from the tooth fairy because action figures were 5.99 so like I would get the five bucks from the Tooth Fairy, it wouldn't quite be enough. What action figures are fun? Jurassic Park. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. 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 I remember one night Tooth Fairy and Santa came at the same time. That was crazy. Oh yeah. yeah Usually you have I lost to pay it. extra for that. I lost. <laughs> I lost a tooth on Christmas Eve. It was cool. Oh, that's fucking dope. Mm -hmm. So what wow. happened was I got, I did get money from the Tooth Fairy and like a note from Santa saying that he saw the Tooth Fairy. That's great. That, yeah, so oh, it was, so it was the whole thing. Yeah, I'm sure my parents were very excited when they realized what was going down. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're just talking holidays, but whatever. This is a very free form. <laughs> if you could tell. This is the least. The people Can just I have a walk, sip of that? Yeah, here. This is it's like great. the least structured episode, and I'm I'm having a great time. I'm so <laughs> sleepy. We have to film one more thing. We do have to film other stuff after this. It's something that fulfills a Warner Brothers contract obligation. So hope they're happy with this slurring. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> we're doing a great job. Dude. I think we're doing a fucking excellent um, job. What else do my notes okay, say? Okay, so how? Okay, so we both grew up in Michigan. Yeah. Oh, Devil's Night was a thing. That's oh yeah. Okay, we can't talk about Halloween in Michigan without Devil's Night. That's right. Um, if you're not aware, Devil's Night, and I just always thought this was a thing. Uh, yeah. And it turns out it's just a Michigan, specifically, I think Metro Detroit slash actual Detroit. I think it doesn't it play a plot point in The Crow. Oh, does which it? I've never seen, but I believe it does like play a plot point. And uh, yeah, Devil's Night is the night before it's Halloween. It's the night before Halloween, and it's. All just cause a mischief. Mischief. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, oh, you know what? They changed it to Angels Night, though. Yeah. Like, I, what, I think those things are back? kind of concurrent, pretty much. Like, I, I'm, you know, people, I think, still call it Devil's Night, right? For sure. But yeah. officially, it's, you know, Angels, Night, Angels or... Night where people clean and. Yeah, because Devil's Night was like TPing and egging houses. And I'm sure other oh, more sin, well, especially during like. I don't know how long Devil's Night's been a thing, but I'm sure during the 80s and 90s, everyone was like, oh, man. Lighting fires. Satanic panic shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Devil's Night's no good. But, yep, that's the night before Halloween. I just always grew up thinking that that was everywhere. I thought that was a thing, man. It's a cool name and everything. It's cool. Right? Yeah. It's fucking satanic. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Devil's Night. Uh, But, okay, so, yeah, growing up in Michigan and having Halloween... Even if you had a dope-ass costume, if you wanted to go out trick-or-treating in it, you would have to dress in shitty-ass layers, and then your costume looks like ass. Yeah. I just remember dressing, like, different Disney princesses or whatever, like, dressing like Belle, and my parents trying so hard to, because Belle's dress is, like, the yellow, and so they would, I would have yellow like the yellow sweatpants and the yellow sh- like sweatshirt. Oh, that's good. Like the Lands End. I thought those weren't easy to find. Yellow no, sweatpants. No, Lands End has any color you they want, got you. my man. Yeah, I think they still do. Just have every color. Okay. Mm-hmm. So it was just we had like a rainbow Lands End long johns. <laughs> but you just always look like shit. You yeah. look so bulky. Well, it probably terrible. looks like you pissed in them. Oh. Yellow long johns. Well, no, they're like a mustard color. Okay. Yeah. Well, you pissed and you didn't drink enough water. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. My dad would decorate the house a lot. That we would decorate our house, too. He would like, oh, so according to my mom, who, I love you, mom. You fabricate things sometimes. You enhance stories. But I do believe this, uh, that my dad would decorate houses so extreme that, like, kids would be afraid to come up. Oh, porch. that's that's what you want, though. That's I think that's best. what my dad did, uh, w- complete with like a headless person sitting on the. See, we never porch we chairs. never had trick or treaters growing up. That was not a thing because you've been to my house. You live on like a. Main it's on a street. busy road. Yeah, it's su- growing up on a busy road. Not cool. Like oh, it's- we were smack dab in suburbia. <sighs> we were on a side street. We like had the. Mm, it was no, beautiful. it was cool because. We, where we grew up so my house is older than all the other houses around it so it's built off of like a main road so the road itself is busy the back like the property itself the backyard's big it's really nice but growing yeah. up on a busy road where there's not sidewalks because the house is there so old it was like oh no yeah because I, I I uh believe what would happen is that my dad would take me and my sister trick-or-treating, my mom would stay back and hand out candy to the kids. Then he would bring us back, they'd swap out, she would take us out, and then she says we would uh, drive over to Dearborn, we were in Lincoln Park, and where she says the uh, rich the, houses, the right? rich houses yep. were. We would drive to the rich houses and too. And then, yeah, it's it's because my grandparents lived there, and so we would do like one block or two there and get like the king size candy. Yep. We would, there was a neighborhood like close ish to us, but my mom's friend like lived there. And so we would sometimes do trick or treating with like their family and stuff and go around their neighborhood because they lived in like the really nice houses nice. and get the king size candy bars. So isn't there okay, so you trick or treat October thirty first, right? Yeah. But wasn't there some kind of thing recently? Where they were trying to change it. Trying I don't, to change it to like a floating I don't think that holiday. Was a, I don't think that was a real news story. Okay. I think that's a thing where 
someone you, made a big anyone, deal out of it. Anyone can be like, we should move Halloween. And if someone chooses to report on whatever asshole wants to move Halloween, then it's somehow a news story. But I don't think that was ever serious. I do feel like when I was young, it felt like Halloween lasted so long. Mm -hmm. But when do you think you were brought in and reined in? You know, when you're 10 years old and you're trick-or-treating, Oh, like Especially what time of at night? that time of year, sun goes down at like what six? I don't know if I have any frame of reference or how late we would stay out because it just when you're a kid it feels late. It feels like you're out there was. all fucking night. But yeah. You're probably home but at like nine, yeah. ten. Oh man, latest. this is it's a holiday, so it's kind of related, but that just reminded me of what my parents would do <laughs> with me and my sister on New, on New Year's. Year's. Yeah, they would fucking swindle you, right? They would tell you. I got swindled for years. <laughs> they would they would set all the clocks and I was forward. Damn. And they would play we had a VHS of <laughs> With the previous years? No, no, no. It was a VHS of, it was like some Sesame Street New Year's thing. I think it was like Elmo's Chinese. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. Play, which like isn't even that time of year. All right, Claudia and Bob, I but see But it was you. just like New Year's, <laughs> even though I just realized I wouldn't be that time of year. <laughs> but they would play that and like, We'd count down, and then I'd go to bed. <laughs> Would you bang pots and pans? I think we've had this discussion. Um, no, we didn't really do the pots and yeah, pans. Yeah, I did pots and pans. That's like an older tradition. Is it's it? to scare out the bad spirits and. Oh. Yeah, I think that has root, that has roots in okay. like folklore and stuff. Don't mind me if you're watching. Oh, hey, you know what? It's 22 minutes. Oh, should we add to ad read, huh? We gotta do ad read. You gotta reads. pull that up on your phone, though. Oh fuck. Okay. We'll vamp while I do that. Okay. This is the ad section. Can you tell I'm not editing this episode? We're not editing shit, and she can't pull it up on her phone because her phone fell in the my toilet. Phone, my phone fell in the toilet. The best was we were in the, the room earlier. My what? phone. We were in the room. Earlier. <laughs> yeah. What was that? And my phone is already like dead because I dropped it in the toilet, and then mm -hmm. James spilled his beer. <laughs> my, and I'm like, dude, what the fuck? And he goes, it's already dead. And I was like, it's funny because it's already dead. You know, if and, it was a fresh phone, then we'd have a discussion about it. <laughs> and all I could think of was when you're burying someone and you're lowering the coffee, you toss that first little scoop of dirt. Yeah. It was just, it's just the final, like, yeah. It's, it's dead. <laughs> okay, here we go. Uh, dead Meat Podcast, we're sponsored by Liquid Dead. Liquid Dead. You know Liquid Dead. Fuck yeah, you do. Shit. I think you I think Liquid Death is fine with okay. you swearing. That's like their brand, so you get locked out actually. Okay, next ad. We have two in this one. So next ad I we won't can swear. We can swear in the Liquid Death. Sorry, one. Liquid Death. Uh Liquid Death is <laughs> It's canned, it's canned water. It's canned water, And it's, it, that sounds simple, but it's great. Yeah, and you might be like, well, why? There's because already it's sustainable. bottled water. Yeah, yeah. Cans are so much better than plastic. Yeah, plastic water bottles are so, like, listen, we're on this trip right now. Mm -hmm. We're in Colorado. We're getting lots of plastic water bottles. Oh, yeah. I'm drinking them because I need to get hydrated, but I feel bad. Yeah, and that's the thing is, is right, this is a kind of event where you need to just keep giving people water so that we all don't get, like, sick because mm -hmm. it's the high altitude, so it makes sense that we're getting tons of water bottles and stuff. Yeah. But... It could be a situation where we could all have canned water and then it's easier to recycle. I wish they were giving us that liquid death. There's just so, you know, there's a lot of situations where I think having this option is really nice. Also, it sounds so much cooler than insert uh, other brand here. Yeah. Because we're not going to name any. But liquid death, there's nothing cooler than that. Yeah, and the can purposely looks like a beer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's great. I've said this before. We have uh, parties for wrestling pay-per-views, and we have liquid death at those, and people love them. Yeah. Because, yeah, you know, you, you drink some beers, and then you drink some liquid death, and it just feels like you're you're continuing the action, but you're treating yourself good. Yeah, you got to unlock your phone so I can see the code. Okay, yeah, yeah. I'm, pr I'm sure it's liquiddeath.com. Well, let's well not, don't don't let's say, not lead anyone astray. Oh boy. Okay. As, <laughs> or get our mountain internet to work. Oh man. Gonna get the hiccups. Okay. If you want two dollars 
<laughs> okay, here we go. Listeners yeah. of the Demi podcast get an exclusive deal to get two dollars off every case if you go to liquiddeath.com slash dead meat. Or if you want a free case, you can sell your soul. That's right. Which I love. There and I'm this is not a joke. This is actually for real. You can go to their website and you can clip click the option to sell your soul and you'll get a free case of uh liquid death. That's super cool. Yep. And it's only available in like a handful of stores, I guess. You gotta order it online. You gotta get gotta get it online, man. Yeah. Get that liquid death. Mm-hmm. Was that liquiddeath.com? Yep. Slash dead meat. Slash dead meat. Yeah. Go get that liquid death. It's canned water. It's good for the earth. It is. Uh, our next sponsor is Bomba Socks. You can't swear during this. Song. I won't swear I'm not during editing Bomba this Socks. I'm not editing this episode. Uh, Bomba Socks, first of all, who doesn't like getting new socks? Yeah, everyone has to wear socks. Everybody's got I Man, this whole trip, my feet have been cold. I wish I had brought more socks. Mm-hmm. They, Bombas has nice thick ones. Ones that are like athletic socks. They're good for your feet. They're not just the kind of I brought some kind of cruddy ones I got for cheap and I'm regretting it yeah that's the thing is that like when you're you know younger you think socks are just this this thing that you it's expendable you just yeah yeah it's not important but when you get older you realize no if I pay attention to my sock choice that'll go a long way Mm -hmm. I'm not joking because what's the thing you should always spend money if you can on things where you're body makes contact with the ground so seating is very important Mm -hmm. for your spine your back a good bed sure and And i think socks socks and shoes you know yeah because you're walking around your house in your socks exactly you gotta open your phone again all right there you go bombs also um by the way bomba socks speaking of sesame street and elmo's chinese New Year. (laughs) (laughs) yeah speaking of uh they have a line of sesame street socks and they're so cute i'm yeah i'm gonna i'm getting the uh the count ones they're Ooh. like minimalist so they have like the count ones are purple and they have like little fangs on the back so it's you you might you wouldn't know unless you kind of looked and you realized oh that's the color scheme of that's cool and they have straight up big bird socks too with the the pink and the orange yeah, great they're real cute so uh if you want to try bomba socks which you do and by the way for every pair you buy they donate one to someone in need which that's is my great. favorite thing oh yeah me too because honestly Socks go a long way in keeping you warm. Yes. We're we're sitting here privileged in the Stanley Hotel, and I had to wear socks last night just to stay warm. Yeah. Imagine yeah. if we weren't in the Stanley Hotel. I had, was having a hard time sleeping last night because my feet were cold. And having a hard time sleeping, that's going to mess up your whole day. For sure. Yeah. So... Give some people some socks. We Hell love yeah. that here on the Dead Meat Podcast. So if you want to save 20%, I would. No. If you want to save 20% on your first purchase, when you shop at bombas.com slash dead meat, you can save 20%. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yep. Bombas.com slash dead meat. 20% on your first purchase. That's like a tautology of an ad. What? I think that makes sense. <laughs> Fact check me in the comments. Okay, here you go. Are we good with the ads? Mm -hmm. Great. I can swear again? Yeah. Fuck. (laughs) Fuck. Fuck. Um, Now we gotta fill 20 more minutes of podcast. Let's talk about Halloween candy that we like. Also, I hope while we're recording, we see ghosts because the Stanley Hotel is haunted. What? Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm hoping that, you know, some, someone will be watching this and, oh, there's something is the Is the steam car in frame? I don't, I don't think, think it is. I think so, yeah. There's, there's a like car. a steam car right over there. Yeah. But, yeah. yeah, it's creepy. We're now, like, because a few minutes ago I could hear people, but now it's getting pretty quiet. Yeah, it's getting it's quiet. The, it's the witching hour. It's so late. Mm. Yeah. Oh, what? when is the witching I hour? I think it's midnight. We're past that. Oh, what? Midnight people are still awake and doing stuff. I, I don't know. Midnight, I don't know. I guess witching hour was before, like, lights. Yeah, before, <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> we still relied on our natural uh, circadian rhythms and stuff. We oh, weren't yeah. ruining them with electricity. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oh, here's a fun Halloween story. Although it may have not been on Halloween night itself. That's fine. Accounts differ okay. from my family. Once upon a time, baby James mm-hmm. was dressed as a pumpkin 
One, imagine that. You were That's already so laughing. Good. It's, it's so, so cute. cute. Yeah. I was a cute fucking baby. I mean, baby. all babies dressed as pumpkins is really, it's the best baby costume, I sure, think. It's, it's they're always, like naturally Because they naturally are pumpkins. Yeah. It's, it's always really cute. I don't know if this is accurate, but I'm imagining the hat, a hat with like a little stem. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You know? But I was in a little uh, stroller buggy kind of thing, mm -hmm. okay? And apparently, I just zoomed past the rest <laughs> of my family through the kitchen, down the stairs. In the stroller? In the Wait, stroller. Wait, how? Yeah, that was my question. <laughs> Wait, you're not I like, haven't gotten a satisfied You're not answer. like driving it. No, right? So that was my question. Again, haven't gotten a, a satisfying answer about it, but what happened was, uh, me and my little buggy fell down. Uh, I have a few stairs that go down to like the side door landing. Fell down there, landed on my head, went to the hospital <laughs> in my little pumpkin outfit. <laughs> and my dad, I will recite this because my dad laughed as he told me this <laughs> earlier today. He said he was almost arrested for child abuse <laughs> because his baby came in all fucked up. <laughs> oh my God. He laughed at it and told oh me, God. so I think it's all right to relate. Oh, my, <laughs> oh boy. my sister's version of it is that it was not on Halloween. It was when we were carving pumpkins, and then I fucked up carving pumpkins because I had to go to the hospital. But in both versions, There's I a went to the hospital. There's pumpkin involved. And, yes, yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. That's really funny. Yep. <laughs> So, oh my god, uh, I don't have anything that good. Yeah, can you top that, hon? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> I don't know. My mom also texted me saying I should tell the story about the time that my sister must have been like 10, maybe younger. Uh, we're all going out trick or treating in the, the rich neighborhood, by the way. That was one of those years. And she insisted on that year on dressing as a gorilla, like full on gorilla suit. <laughs> gorilla. And she's like, this tall, like tiny. But I guess she was like walking by and like actually scaring kids, like not on purpose, but she was making like kids cry. Oh, good. Yeah. <laughs> Just walking around dressed as this realistic gorilla. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I, I definitely remember, I think it was sixth grade, maybe seventh. I was, uh, and this is a story I've told, maybe I'm drunk Star Wars. Oh boy, okay. I was even PL. That's <laughs> right, uh huh. Member of the. Do you the, want, yeah, I was gonna say, you wanna explain who that is for. No, everyone knows even PL. Oh, uh, yeah. Or Evan PL, maybe. Uh, he was a member of the Jedi Council, I believe only Evan in. Evan PL just sounds like such a normal dude. <laughs> <laughs> well, rest assured, he was not a normal dude. He was a shorter guy, very long ears, he had a, a, a top knot. Oh, you've sh you've shown me pictures of Bald this. Bald aside from that, yeah. yes. Uh, but I was a Jedi Council member, Evan PL. I thought it was great. I, yeah, it's a I good was costume. This esoteric Jedi, Jedi Master, even. Mm -hmm. And then the friend who I went trick or treating with was a pimp. Oh man, he was just a I pimp. we've got to be like past the point where it's fine to dress as that, right? We're, what, being a pimp? Yeah, for Halloween. That's, like, not okay anymore, right? Um, I don't know. Leave we, us I was going to say, because we were coming of age in the 90s and early 2000s when everything was fine and it sucked. Yo, the godfather in WWF back then. <gasps> oh, yeah. All aboard the hoe train. The hoe train. Mm -hmm. God damn. <laughs> cool era to be a teen, an impressionable teen. An in. impressionable teen. I'm honestly shocked people our age didn't end up more fucked up. Oh, we did. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. Uh, when I was in college, I was sexy Colonel Sanders. <laughs> Ew, but also pics. If I can find them, I'll post them on Twitter. Pics of the chicks? Pics of the <laughs> <laughs> It was basically just a, I had a white, it was just a white long sleeve shirt, black shorts, obviously fishnets because it's a sexy version of something, heels, and then the little like stoop at the tie, like the southern, like the. Oh yeah, the bolo? Yeah. It was, it's not quite a bolo. It's like a long, um, or is not it Not Gerber Murder? Murder? <laughs> no, it's like a, it's just like a long bow tie kind of okay. I don't know how to describe it then I spray painted my hair 
white. I like, put it in a ponytail, spray painted it white, and had, you know, the glasses and the mustache. And I, I still had the mustache. Okay. And so, yeah, it was like not, it was a, not supposed to be actually sexy. It was silly. I think freshman year. Oh, and I had a chicken bucket that I put like my drinks and stuff. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, freshman year in college, I was Beer Man, a superhero that had a uh, belt that could mm -hmm. hold beers. Uh, yeah, that was definitely a store bought costume that I thought was hilarious. It wasn't. Every it I wasn't. I feel like every year, and I don't know if this is the case at your high school too, because like we would be a lot, we'd wear costumes in high school too. I don't know if you guys, if you did that. Yeah, like go to school. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. At least once every year. I don't know if it's the same kid doing it or if it was just someone different every year. At least one person would come dressed in that costume that I'm, I'm sure they still sell, where it's just a giant sperm. A little like super sperm. I never saw any sperms. Yeah, it's just a bit. It's like a a sperm costume with a cape. That's like super sperm. Oh, that's fun. And that kid would just show up and get sent home <laughs> immediately, <laughs> which is kind of ridiculous. I know I was a Bowie, like mm. Ziggy Stardust Bowie in college. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to remember the other years in college. What I was. one of my oh my god, I can't believe I just I forgot about this until now. One of my friends. <laughs> Salad fingers for Halloween. Oh, gross! And he actually had like fucking lettuce <laughs> taped to his fingers, and it got it's, like just fucking gross. Was that in college or high school? No, it was high school. Oh wow! Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. No, dude, I've been with I've been with salad fingers since day one, dude. I remember being into that, and there were only two episodes, I think. Yeah, <laughs> he's been in my life for a long time. Uh, <laughs> Oh, and uh, I told this, this not story, but I talked about this Halloween costume at our, our uh, panel where we screened Ice Cream Man at ScareCon. It feels like a million years ago, but it, was it literally like was like two ago. nights ago. And David Naughton, good God, sport. God bless David Naughton. <laughs> yeah. He... Okay, so yeah, some context. We are at Scaracon this weekend in Rochester, New York. It was lovely meeting so many of you. You guys are all the best. Um, we... We, we wanted to do a, like a movie screening where we talked over whatever we were screening, just rift. Um, so we picked Ice Cream Man because we love Ice Cream Man. And I'm thinking, well, da you know, David Naughton's going to be there. Can we get David Naughton to come to our panel? Somehow he agreed to do it. Um, we got a ride with him and a few other people like back from the airport. And yeah. we were like, hey, we're doing the panel with you. And he's like, oh, yeah, Ice Cream Man. What? Huh? He's like, I don't even think I've seen it. And he said it's probably the first and last time he'll watch it. But anyway, <laughs> thank you, David. Thank you, David. For cooperating with our, <laughs> I don't <even> know. <laughs> our attempt to just sow chaos at Scaricon. Um, but I, we had an ice cream man in our neighborhood for years and years and years. Like he was a local celebrity. Oh yeah. Yeah. To the okay. point where like he passed away a few years ago and it was a big thing, you know, like everyone loved him, but his name was weird beard and he always had tie dye shirts on and long gray hair, long gray beard. Um, I honestly don't know if I ever heard him really talk. He was very like, like gruff and very quiet um, to the point where I think some people spread rumors that he's like sold drugs and stuff. That's always the rumor about the ice cream man is that they sell drugs, but he was just like really, he was really sweet. Like once you, you know, just quiet and stoic, just like big bearded dude. But I dressed as him for Halloween. Yeah. I had my fake beard and I, I sprayed my hair gray and just like ratted it out. And I made me and Carrie, my friend Carrie, made an ice cream truck out of cardboard. And we even had like all the pictures of the ice cream on the side. Oh my God. And like the wind, it was really good. And that I also have pictures of, but I gotta find them. Yeah. So. What's your favorite candy? Oh, favorite candy? Um, probably Twix. Oh, really? I love Twix. They're so good. If I had to pick, but it's. It's also like, what am I in the mood for? I was like wise. the fruity guys. So Skittles and Starburst. I do like those. Those are my jams. Um, I mean, I also. Hi. Oh, hello. Can we take some photos around here? Oh my God, not all. We're just, we're recording a podcast, if yeah. you don't mind, yeah. Via. Look at, oh my gosh. Uh, we're talking about Halloween, Halloween memories. Uh, yeah, you got any yeah. fun, exciting Halloween memories? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ooh, 
Wait, are you just offering me some? Yes. Oh, what is that? Jack. Is Jack, are you gonna? <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, it's a whole different breed. Okay. Ooh, okay. Chef's gonna have some Jack with honey. Like, oh, you know what? I've heard of that. Ooh, that's good. Yeah. Let me... Oh, it's super sweet. Oh, that's that, thick. That's smooth too. You look gorgeous, by the way. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. You look awesome. Oh. You like your own. You look like an elf. Oh, thank you. Oh, she, that's she my D &D. To be an elf. I know. I want to be yeah. an elf so bad. That's yes. my D and D race. Right here. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah. thank oh my you gosh. So well, good luck with your podcast. Oh, well, thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Stanley so yeah. much. It's a um, hotel. Yeah, I don't know. It depends on like what I in the mood for. I actually went on our friend Joey's podcast where we talked oh, yeah, about like my shitty bullshit taste in Halloween candy. She likes black licorice. Black licorice is great. Good and plenty as I love. Yeah. Um, I think I talked about, I used to like circus peanuts and I ate too many of them and now I can't. You know what uh, I did that with? Cool Whip. Cool Whip. Oh, yeah. I, re I distinctly remember Just eating it out of the tub, when I was right? like eight or maybe even younger. Yeah, I, I ate like a full tub of it and then that night, just freaking out laying on what I remember to just be a mattress on the ground, which eventually I did have in my, my bedroom uh, in high school, but this was well before that. And just like freaking out over uh, the Cool Whip I ate. I don't know, man. What the fuck? And then ever since then, I've never had Cool Whip. That's weird. I've never it had It gave cool you Whip. like sleep paralysis. Yeah, Cool Whip like invoked demons in me well, and they sat on my chest. we're never gonna get Cool Whip to sponsor us now. Cool oh, no. Whip, it'll give you night terrors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I like and uh, banana laffy taffy is good, and like and the banana runts. I basically will take all the candy that you don't like yeah. and eat it. Like right around Easter time is when everyone's parents, because like we all live, we live in LA. All of our friends' parents are from out of town, mostly Michigan, and I always extend my offer to. I will take your peeps because people's Fucking parents peeps, always mail in peeps, and then I. You, I'll some, it depends on what I'm, what I want, but uh, I'll sometimes slice the packaging open and let them sit out for a little bit, and then eat them stale. God, it's so good. I'm marrying you. <laughs> I things I don't like though. Almond joys can fuck off. Things you, you don't like almonds. Almonds are gross. I, the texture's bad. They're like the nut. No, they're not. Okay, aside from peanuts, peanuts. but they're legumes. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Well, almonds are that's gross. Almonds are like the nut, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the nut? The nut. <laughs> the, that's your Don Draper pitch. It's a cure for the common nut. <laughs> peanuts. What, peanuts? It's a cure for the common nut. Okay. Yeah. Almonds are like... Also a cure for the common nut. No, they're like the nut standard. Mm-hmm. Well, like a jazz standard? Sure. Okay. If that makes it more clever. <laughs> also, things with coconut in them can fuck off. I'm not into that. Okay. So, um, isn't that also Almond Joy? Is Almond no, that's Joy like, uh, yeah. Yeah, Almond Joys are my least favorite then. They've got things I just don't like. And you... you Shh, nope. I can't talk about you that. You can't yet. talk about okay. anything. I'm just yeah. going to say some very upsetting Almond Joy related news. <laughs> That sounds so stupid out of context. I'm sorry. Yeah. Why are you getting so mad about Almond Joys? <laughs> <laughs> oh, also candy corn. I love candy corn. Oh, it's so gross. Would you ever eat that candy corn pizza? No. Ew. No. Well, you're fucking gross, though. But someone made that as a... What? A, someone made that as a goof. I don't think that was meant to be eaten by any person. You don't think anyone actually ate it? No. That I went right so that went it. right into the garbage. You don't think out of all the fucking six billion people on this planet, no one's ever eaten a candy corn pizza. I think the people who originally made it made it as a joke, threw it in the trash immediately, and then someone decided to recreate it and then they also they ate it. That's fair. That's probably what happened. God, that's so gross. Thinking about that picture. It's <laughs> it's <laughs> it's pretty nasty. Yeah. It's gross. How we doing? It's 45 minutes. <laughs> it feels like, like we've been recording for five hours. I know. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, I'm having a good time, though. Uh, I'm out. Oh, I'm out of stories. <laughs> I was a ninja one oh, time. Man, I just accidentally tossed my notes. I was a ninja one time. 
Oh, it was probably man. like the last time before my grandma passed. Yeah. God I'm glad bless. that both of us um, made it through being kids in the 90s and early 2000s, like unscathed. You no, ever offensive, get razors? no offensive costumes. No. Okay. Oh, yeah. No offensive costumes. Yeah. Like we were good. We didn't. I mean, you were Cle- Cleopatra. I was a ninja. But Cleopatra is a person. And as long as you're not, you know, doing it in a weird way. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I had a bunch of books. I then just, what would it, what would have counted? What? As an offensive costume. If you're Cleopatra and you <laughs> do it like a Justin Trudeau just Sammy style. Davis Jr. So. Yeah, like yeah. <laughs> just it. Yeah, just Justin Trudeau. Yeah, Justin. <laughs> but no, when I was a kid, I had like a bunch of books about Cleopatra because I thought she was cool, and so I think that was like when those, that series of books came out that was like royal diaries and it was like first person POV from real historical, like either princesses or whatever. Okay. And I just was obsessed with those. And the Cleopatra was my favorite. So just as her. Anyway, my more offensive costume was probably for, um, I, we did presentations and like historical figures and I picked Sacagawea okay. and dressed as her. But my presentation was really good. I genuinely thought she was the shit. Sure, yeah. Cause she she got those dudes uh she got them over across. the mountains. And I remember it, we got extra credit if we brought in like stuff to give away as like either a treat or like a favor to well, the class. Yeah. What do you think I my dad had me bring in? Because it was like the easiest thing for my Sacagawea themed presentation. Cabbage patch kids. She had the baby. baby. Yeah, she had the baby. Yeah. No, my dad just went and got a roll of like twenty some bucks worth of the fucking second we had gold coins that had just been minted. You remember when those those had just come out? (laughs) Because who was the other dollar coin person? Ah, Susan B. Anthony, right? Yeah. And now we don't do either of those. Um. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know if either of those are still being minted. And then who was going to replace? Uh, Jackson was it? Tubman. Tubman, and then and then we were like, we're like, we're no. delaying it. Yeah. yeah, and then it was like maybe on the two, the popular two dollar bill. That is Jefferson. Ken- that is, oh, that's Jefferson. Kennedy is another. No, is he fifty cent or is he a dollar? Oh, he's the fifty cent piece. He's fifty cent piece. Mm-hmm. Another thing that's just not used. Mm-hmm. But he's fine. People know Kennedy. You're good. Yeah, people like when you when you get a fifty cent piece, you keep it. You know who was on a uh, high denomination dollar? Now, now nowadays, a hundred dollars is the highest bill, which is weird. Oh, I damn it! I feel yeah. like I know. Okay, it, how, what was the amount? Uh, I don't remember. Maybe it was ten thousand. Was it Franklin? Maybe. Salmon P. Chase. Okay, no, I didn't know this. Salmon what? P. Chase, uh, I believe he was a Supreme Court justice, was on either like 1,000, 10,000. I, I forget how What did he do? They, I don't know, he was like a justice. And his name was Salmon. <laughs> Make it through life as Sam. That's an upstream battle, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Thanks. How, we ended up talking about currency. That's cool. Well, you know what? Sometimes when you're trick or treating, you would get coins. So that's yeah. That's all the adults emptying out the coin jar. Yeah. Because we have a coin jar in our room, and that thing sucks. Yeah, this was before when coin would star. we ever go? Th- like it's all. I've already mined it so many times for quarters. There's, there's no, no more quarters. quarters in you there. know, there's no fucking quarters there's in never, it. Yeah. Yeah. It's just nickels. Yeah. And pennies, which we should get rid of. We should get rid of the penny. We should get rid of the penny. Yeah. I think that's a good note to end on. Yeah. That we should get rid of the penny. Mm-hmm. Fuck the penny. Yeah, I feel like someone's costume this year, and send me pictures if you do this. You should be like the, the like penny cereal, mer- like you're like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Good call, hon. Do you know what I mean? No. Kinda. I don't. But I still love you. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you. Let's wrap this up because we have to record another thing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for putting up with this extremely last minute episode. Yep, hope you had fun. I, I think this was a lot of fun. Um, yeah. This is very out of the ordinary for us, this stream of consciousness style, but I enjoyed myself. Um. Yeah, next week... We are going to have guests. We are. Okay, so here's the deal. Okay, so next week, I messed up our schedule. Next week, um, 
Rhett and Link are coming to our apartment to Fuck record yeah, they a are. podcast episode with us. Uh, cool. Also, they're fucking cool guys. I'm, ex- I'm excited to meet them. They have just the, the slightest tinge of an accent, oh, and I love it yeah. so much. Yeah. They're just so cool. So we're going to be talking about their new book that's coming mm-hmm. out, which is a, a kind of spooky book. Yeah, it's like a young um, adult spooky novel. Mm-hmm. I loved it. I and loved it. So the week after that, it's going to be midsummer. We're finally doing it. Like I, like I mentioned during our panel I already have ordered a costume for it we're not not doing it so mm. there you go yeah and then maybe Dr. Sleep will be in there sometime yes because we just, we saw, just saw it and we can't say anything can't about say it can't say anything about it this is my review it's just but uh, after the embargo lifts yep we'll be able to talk about it yes cool all right Follow Dead Me on social media at Dead Me James on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs> I'm at Carabeck, C R E V E C C on Twitter and Instagram. And I found merch to meet store.com. Yep. And email deadmepod at gmail.com with anything you want to say. If you want to uh, email your shopping list, Chelsea would love to hear it. What? Email her your hopes and desires, no, your random please, thoughts. Uh, because then I. <sighs> when you wake up in the middle of the no. night and you have like an idea for a story, just email deadmepod at gmail.com. <laughs> When I get all these, when you do this, and then it'll I get be, a flood of Alex shitty going ass through emails. It too. Our assistant Alex will have to go through it. I too. miss like actual important things. <laughs> It's very- yeah. Well, welcome to my world when my personal email gets requests for kill counts. Like my personal. Like, how did you find this? Yeah, like what? That's not listed anywhere, yeah. guy. No, I won't do tremors. One day. Well, yeah, I was gonna say tremors. Tremors is cool, pretty cool. Yeah, yeah Kevin Bacon, man. Mm-hmm. All, All right. right, cool. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> we'll be uh, back next week we- with procasters in our apartment. Yeah, with guests. It's gonna be a classy <laughs> affair, unlike this even though we are in a classy location. We've we've lowered the standards of things made in this hotel. <laughs> but until then, I'm James. I'm Chelsea. And there's a lot of people behind us yeah. that you can probably hear. And this has been the Dead Me Podcast. <laughs> <laughs>